Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your prop stream account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you export a list from your prop stream? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to export a list from your prop stream anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If your business revolves around real estate, you know, PropStream is a popular way to gather leads and information on prospects. And sometimes you have to export the lead list to get skip traced, or maybe you need to export it so you can transfer it over to your mailers. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your PropStream. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. But I'm here on my PropStream account. So I'm going to go ahead and export a list from PropStream from start to finish. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose your area. So let me go ahead and click in an area here. Okay, I just chose a zip code. And next, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and filter out for whatever parameters of the list you're going to look for. So you can use these quick features. I'm not going to go into list building on this video. If you need help building a list, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. But for the purpose of this video, I'll go ahead and just pull divorce listings. Okay, it looks like there's 180 in Los Angeles County. I'm going to filter this down a little bit. Okay, so once you found the properties that you want to add into your list, what you want to do is click right here and then it's going to highlight all of them and you want to go here, add to list. Okay, now you can go ahead and make a list. So I'm going to click on create new and then you want to name your list, usually the name of the city and then what parameters you put in there. But this is just a test video. So I'm going to put YouTube list and then save. Okay, properties are saved. Now I have a list to export from PropStream. So let me click close. Okay, now that we have built a list and we've named the list, it's going to be here in my properties right here on the left. It looks like three little houses. Okay, so I have a pretty large gathering of properties in this list. So here on the left, you want to look for your marketing list. So I'm going to scroll down until I see the list that we just put together. So we put together YouTube list. Okay, now it's showing all the properties in my list that we are going to export. So you can clean up this list if you want. So maybe you want to go ahead and do just a specific county or a specific zip code. But once you're ready to go ahead and export your list from PropStream, go ahead and click this box right here. And it's going to go ahead and highlight all of the properties in your list on PropStream. Or you can go ahead and select them one by one. Once you've done that and you're ready to export your list from PropStream, click on this button here called Export. Okay, you can see it automatically exported as an Excel spreadsheet. So let me click on close and let me jump on over to that spreadsheet. Okay, so I went ahead and opened up my list and here is the exported list from my prop stream. And so this information is going to include the address information. It doesn't include phone numbers or emails. So you can go ahead and send this list over to your skip tracer or over to your mailing list for your postcards. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to export a list from PropStream, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.